we are on our way to an Angie's List customer. This customer purchased a three-hour handyman deal uh, five months ago and told us back then that he had a drywall issue that he needed repaired. Uh, two of them actually, one small little nick on the stairwell from moving a refrigerator and then something in the bathroom where the wall is all bubbled out. So we're on our way to to accommodate him for this three-hour handyman deal. Um, one of the things that people don't realize uh, often is that they may purchase three hours, but the job might take four or five, or it might require multiple days. A lot of people don't have the understanding of what's involved with a job and how long it takes. This is a little bit of a challenge when people just blindly buy a deal online and schedule with you because sometimes they're let down or surprised by something. What I like to do is I like to talk to the people ahead of time, find out what their job is, obtain photos of it if I can, and give them a little bit of a heads up so it's not a shock when I tell them it's not something that can be remedied in an hour or two hours or three hours or whatever they purchased. We are almost to this client's house, just a few minutes away at this point, and I'm going to try to get you some shots. I'm not going to take shots of putting the caulking on the backsplash of the kitchen or of the little nick that's in the stairwell. I'm going to focus uh, this video on the drywall repair in the bathroom because that tends to be the most troublesome spot and I want to try to limit how long this video is so it's not a long drawn out boring video. Okay so we got a severe moisture issue in the shower here. I believe it's caused by the flap. In here this is a rubber flap and it's decayed at the bottom a little bit. I think the water's running out here, probably down into this crack here, and around here and soaking up into the drywall. I suggested a corner piece on the inside because the door opens out, silicone in. Look at the crazy angle of these shower tiles. Oh, the whole tile came off. That is all wet in there. It is all wet. Oh, it's soaked. It is soaked. Unfortunately, this is this is going to take
make it creamy. Gotta make it creamy. Get a little lumps out. in place. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it. I don't have any tile adhesive. minute mud. They say you got 20 minutes to work with it, but my experience is it doesn't harden up that quick. That's a reminder. I'm a text message or a phone call. Hi, this is Bob. Yeah, where are you looking? Yes, I do. temperature down. I'm going to use the five minute mud, but that five minute mud is, seems to be a little bit more difficult to use than this 20 minute stuff. But you see, heat does make a difference. I'll throw some heat on here, sure. Pure up faster. Blow dry is the best. This is a beautiful neighborhood. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very country like, very quiet, nice tall trees. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Neighbors aren't real close together. The backyard's like all wooded. It's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. 
You still got your Christmas tree up? Huh? Yeah, it's not a real tree. No, no, no. I'm just surprised to see it in March. <laughs> That's all. Surprised to see it in March. You pick the paint, he says. Paint's all right here, pick one. Find the stair one in this, he says, and the bathroom one's in here somewhere too. I said, I don't think so. I don't think so, my friend, I don't think so. That says stair. I made him label it. I ain't, uh, I ain't making that goddamn mistake. That ain't happening. That is not happening. Told him you probably better get the wife to check it for you. She probably knows exactly what color you used. And they usually have a better eye for color anyway. So I don't think that's what he did. This paint's been in here forever. Look at this. It doesn't even want to. So this is Kills Premium Stain Blocker Paint.